Chef Sheldon Raju decided to take time off and return to his roots with a particular focus on South Indian cuisine. His journey took him across the lower half of the subcontinent and his visit to Kerala was an unforgettable experience. Kerala, literally, when you speak to the locals, they refer to it as God's own country. And the reason being is they believe that God, if he had to choose anywhere in the world, he would want to live in Kerala because of its sheer beauty and diversity. The starters for today, we have these amazing prawns, tiger prawns that get caught off the Indian coast. I'm going to start mixing these up really quickly. Very simple, just take about two tablespoons of your ghee. You could use normal butter if you feel, feel for it. A nice good handful oh, of my mum's masala. Getting all those nice little bits and pieces in there. A little pinch of some uh, garlic and then a little pinch of some ginger as well. And then I'm just going to mix that up very gently and create a beautiful little paste. I'm going to grab my prawns really quickly. I pre-butterfly them as you can see. So a little butter and just on the one side, we're just going to gently place this in. And then I'm just going to work my way getting about six, seven, eight prawns per skewer, depending on the size of your prawns that you're using. And then I'm just gonna get that butter as deep as possible into there, getting all that flavor in there. Done. All right, these prawns are gonna go back into the bowl. And then I'm just gonna gently squeeze some lime juice over here. Good squeeze of ginger. Wonderful, we can start to skewer. So these skewers, what I did was just simply prevent them from burning on my grill. I just soak them overnight in a little bit of cold water. So there's different ways you can skewer these. The one I'm doing is just a butterfly actually. I'm just literally skewering all the way from the tail up until the head. And that's the last one. They're all ready now. My grill has been going for a while. It's nice and beautifully warm. And I'm just gonna line these guys up. Get a bit of my salt. Just that crackle, oh I love it. We're just gonna let that go for about three minutes on the one side. These are almost done. I'm just gonna give them a quick little flip. Oh, nice little charry prawns. But these are about done. Outside nice and crispy, just like how I like my shells. Inside still juicy and soft. On my board, final little squeeze of some lime juice. Little coriander. Great, I'm gonna get started on my fish, which is the next one. Very quick, very simple. Half of my onions are gonna go into my mixing bowl. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of rough spices. Now it's time for my paste to go into my mixture. Uh, about a nice heaped tablespoon. Try to get some of that oil in there. This is just gonna help bind everything in there. I'm gonna do a nice big handful of our za'atar, as well as our sumac. And I'm ready to start mixing. You want it to be almost form like a ball. So this one is a bit too loose. I'm just gonna chuck in a little bit more of our paste. Ah, it's much better. Fantastic, I'm done with the mix. I'm ready for my fish now. And then I'm gonna gently just score them. Not too deep, but you want it deep enough so it penetrates into the meat. My fish is scored, I'm ready to marinate and then pop them straight onto the grill. Don't be scared to get your hands messy in here. Don't forget as well. Make sure to get the inside of the fish. That's where the flavor is going to penetrate through. So rub inside that belly. Marinade's done. We're going to get that grill on. Find a little squeeze of some lemon juice. Close. Lid on. I'm going to have a quick look and see how he's doing. Excellent, he's ready for the big flip. Just this caramelization is just so beautiful. Just gonna get my fish onto my pan. I'm gonna be very gentle with this. You don't want to use that presentation. Little squeezer. I wish you guys could smell this. And then the final, just a little garnish. I'm just gonna take some more of those crispy onions sprinkle it all over. Now, stick my prawns onto the same pan. It's getting a bit dark now and I want to sneak back into the comfort of my kitchen. I'm going to head up to the stoves and um, finish off with some dessert, of course. Fish is in. It's going to keep warm for a bit. 
I'm gonna get on to my desserts now. One of my favorites is sweet rice pudding. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just start off with some jasmine rice. You could use any rice that you want. It really is up to you. Pop them in there. Finish off with some cold coconut milk. It's about equal ratio, about a cup of rice to about a cup of milk. I'm gonna use about half a cup of sugar. And then just a, a good sprinkling of some cardamom powder. Then I'm gonna pop that onto the heat and bring that up to temperature. Great, we're ready to serve. All right, good warm spoonfuls in here. I'm gonna sprinkle in a bit of almonds, some pomegranates, and then some toasted coconuts. I'm all done. What a great day, reminiscing about Kerala. And if you really are feeling left out, I strongly suggest hop on a plane, jump halfway across the world, and experience the backwaters, the simplicity of life. That's all that really matters.